Hello and welcome to this video which shows how to create XBAR and R charts using Jump. The first thing we need to do is open the data file. So the story behind this data is the following. Suppose you work for the Acme company and one of the products that you make is exploding bird seed. You want to make sure that the explosive energy provided by a can of exploding bird seed is consistent. And so every day, at the end of production, you randomly select five cans that have been produced, have the test coyote go blow them up, and measure the energy released in each explosion. For a production run of 14 days, the test coyote has given you the data set here. And the explosive energy of each can is measured in megajoules. The first thing we do is stack the data. We go to Tables, Stack, Select the columns that we want to stack, which are the data values for each can. And hit OK. And you can see that it's taken this data and stacked it into three columns, where the actual data values is now under the explosive energy column. Before we create the control chart, we want to first make sure that the control chart creation option is available. To do this on the Mac, at least, we go to Preferences, go down to Menu, and make sure that Quality Engineering is checked. Then we go to Analyze, Quality and Process, Control Chart Builder. We create the control chart by taking explosive energy and dropping it here, and day, and dropping it there. And we've actually now succeeded in completing the control chart. The top chart is the X-bar chart. It shows the explosive energy averaged over each day, as well as showing the lower control limit and the upper control limit. The bottom chart is the R chart. This shows the range in the measurements for each day, as well as a lower control limit and an upper control limit. Anytime one of the data values in either chart exceeds the upper or lower control limit, like happens here in day two, and here in, I think, day nine, then the process is said to be out of control. So as with anything else associated with Jump, once you figure out how to do it, it's quick and easy to make it work. That concludes this video. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.